I would like to welcome the African and European youth who are with us today. You rightly expect that we listen to you as we discuss priorities and actions for the next years. The global order is contested and fundamental principles are being challenged. But together we can shape the global agenda based on our shared values and interests. We both face the threat of terrorism and radicalization, which targets our youth in particular. The EU strongly supports the objective of African solutions to African problems in the area of peace and security. But more strategic cooperation on security is needed to prevent conflicts, to fight terrorism and organized crime. It is clear that migration is a joint responsibility. The recent reports about the treatment of Africans, especially young people, by smugglers and traffickers are horrifying. Over 5,000 people drowned in the Mediterranean last year. We cannot accept this. We also cannot accept the narrative that pits Africa and Europe against each other. What we need now are common solutions and stronger cooperation to save lives, protect people and allow them to live in dignity. Our initiatives to create jobs, opportunities and perspectives for youth are part of this. Our common duty is to step up the fight against these unscrupulous criminals and bring them to justice. The above remarks also apply to the current situation in Libya, which needs from our side, both European and African, our help, not our condemnation.